It's not always easy to say yes to God and the church. It takes discernment, it takes courage and faith. Will has been discerning well over many years, as has the church. And Will's faith has sustained him and provided that necessary foundation that I pray will remain with him now and all his priestly life. You are young, but you're also not divorced from the world in these changing times. You are alert to this. And I know you are attentive to the signs of the times, a theme of Vatican II, and still very much relevant today. What is also still relevant today is the decree on the ministry and life of priests, presbyter orum ordinus. Coupled with Pastores de Bovobus, a more recent document from St. John Paul II, priests are provided with some very solid foundations in terms of who we are and what we're called to be. Father Orm also reminded me that these documents tap into what Pope Francis tell, tells priests about becoming priests for a synodal church. In these challenging times within the church and the world, the ordained ministry needs all the help it can get. And you, dear Will, need to be fortified as you prepare to embark on this new chapter in your life. In this spirit tonight, Jesus informs you Will, you are the salt of the earth. In a special way, the responsibility to give the new taste of the gospel to the earth and enlighten the whole world with Jesus' teaching. Salt enhances the food we eat. In like manner, you are called, Will, by God to enhance the world around us with the saltiness of our Christian lives. And Jesus also calls you, Will, to be the light to the world. Without light, we're blind. The human eye is useless where light is unable to penetrate. Jesus wants you, Will, to be his light in our contemporary world. I pray, Will, that you will be a priest of Jesus Christ with an abundance of salt and light inside you. Salt and light that you will not keep to yourself, but that you will share with the people you serve. Continue your studies, Will, with ongoing formation, meditate, break open the word, adore the Lord, celebrate Eucharist, take a retreat, pray, and stay close to Mary, the mother of God and your spiritual mother. And look after God's people. Jesus of Nazareth, in his public ministry, showed us how to live and ultimately how to die. Because of this will, all will be well. You will receive tonight the grace of the sacrament. And one thing I know personally is that God helps those whom God has called.